See how she leans her cheek upon her hand? <sighs> that I were a glove upon that hand that I might touch that cheek. I mean... She speaks! Oh! <laughs> Speak again, bright angel, for thou art as glorious to this night, being o'er my head, as is a winged messenger of heaven. And to the white, upturned, wandering eyes of mortals that fall back to gaze on him when he bestrides the lazy, puffing clouds and sails upon the bosom of the air. Oh, Romeo, Romeo, wherefore art thou, Romeo? Deny thy father and refuse thy name, or if thou wilt not, be but sworn my love, and I'll no longer be a Capulet. Oh, shall I hear more? Shall I speak of this? Tis but thy name that is my enemy. <laughs> What's Montague? It is nor hand, nor foot, nor arm, nor face, nor any other part belonging to a man. <laughs> oh, be some other name! What's in a name? That which we call a rose, by any other word, would smell as sweet. So Romeo would, were he not Romeo called, retain that dear perfection which he owes without that title. Romeo. Doff thy name, and for thy name, which is no part of thee, take all myself. I take thee at thy word. Now call me but love, and I'll be new baptised. Henceforth, I never will be Romeo. What man art thou that thus be screamed at night, so stumblest on my counsel? By a name, I know not how to tell thee who I am. My name, dear saint, is hateful to myself because it is an enemy to thee. Had I it written, I would tear the word. My ears have yet not drunk a hundred words of that tongue's uttering, yet I know the sound. Art thou not Romeo and a Montague? Neither, fair maid, if either thee dislike. How came so hither? Tell me, and wherefore, the orchard walls are high and hard to climb, and the place death, considering who thou art, if any of my kinsmen find thee here. With love's light wings did I owe perch these walls? For stony limits cannot hold love out, and what love can do, that dares love attempt. Therefore, thy kinsmen, I know, stop to me. If they do see thee, they will murder thee. <laughs> Alack, there lies more peril in thine eye than twenty of their swords. Look thou but sweet, and I am proof against their enmity. I would not for the world they saw thee here. I have night's cloak to hide me from their eyes. And but thou love me, let them find me here. By whose direction found'st thou out this place? By love. <laughs>